Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the week ahead whenever you're finding it. If you're watching along as I post because you're subscribed, this is for the week of August 26th through September 1st, 2024. First card out for you, Libra, is love. Wow. <laughs> yes, love is in the air. If you're already in a relationship or dating someone, there's going to be a lot of beautiful memories made with them this week. Um, it just feels like you're in love with life as well, you know? It feels very satisfying. You're romancing life itself, you know? Smelling all of the flowers, um, dressing in a beautiful way and just seeing the little sparks of joy that are literally everywhere. I mean, you can find so much love and gratitude towards life in the smallest of things, like a little stream going by that's so adorable or a beautiful building with great architecture or even in like a, a back alleyway with lots of graffiti, like finding these beautiful moments all sprinkled all throughout your life and finding so much abundance in them. It, it's amazing. Um, yeah, falling in love with life. I love it. Success is coming through with this Black Panther spirit. Wow. Libra, you may be successful at what you set out to do this week. It feels like luck is on your side and the things that you want, want you. So where the people you want want you. So that feels really exciting. And I definitely feel like there will be some developments taking place in your life, keeping things moving forward for you. Uh, I feel like new vibrations are sort of downloading into your aura. So this could be you sitting at a slightly different place in life than you've ever been before. You know, um, different sort of perspectives, experiences, um, happening for you this week. And I'm also seeing life feels a little bit easier. You know, like I said, it's like what you want wants you, or at least it feels that way. So instead of endlessly striving and chasing, um, it feels like you're just meandering and the things that you want are meandering alongside you. So we have focus. Wow. Success focus. I'm seeing like hardcore, like I'm being productive, I'm being organized type of energy, you know? Um, really in the present moment, if, if any of you are going on a date also, another thing I'm seeing is being really, really present with that date, not even touching your phone, really having in-depth conversation and enjoying the, the day to your, or the night to the absolute fullest. So very beautiful. Feels like an easy to focus week. Your ability to focus may be improving. Even if you have ADHD like me, you, your ability to focus may be really improving. We have death and rebirth coming out as your first tarot card. I secretly love the death card, to be honest with you, because it promises so much positive change in your life. You know, sometimes you have to let go of the lower vibrational people and situations in your life in order to make space for something new, something better. For example, if you have friends in your life who really just like, you don't necessarily agree with their morals, you don't agree with how they're running their life, but you're like, well, you know, I'm just gonna keep them in my life anyways, you know, they're not harming me. They kind of are because they're, they're taking up space in your aura, in your energy, in your presence. And they, they're, that drags you down, you know? And when you make space, naturally the universe will bring you the people and situations that are of a perfect vibrational match for you so if you're having people in your life that you're attached to who feel very much at a lower vibration or just like their morals their mentality is not really at your level um you're you're not making space for people who are at your level or situations that are at your level so that's something to keep in mind. And I feel like you're embracing sort of letting go of anything that exhausts you, depletes you, or just feels a little bit immature for you. We have the two of pentacles. There's a lot of balance and harmony this week. You're balancing a lot of things very perfectly. This could be like, for example, being productive with taking care of the house, with taking care of your social life, with checking in on people, with, you know, keeping your emotions up to date, with focusing on your hobbies, you know, all these different things that make life worth living. You're trying to balance them all out. And I think you're doing a good job. 
Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm. <laughs> Libra. You may not really have been feeling um, the spark of sexuality or creative inspiration that much recently. And, you know, this could have been due to some changes in your life or some stressors in your life. You may be feeling like that energy is missing. Um, and yet, at the same time, you haven't really been focused on it. You know, there's just been other, other things consuming your mind. Let's see. Yeah, the moon. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely things consuming your mind. Um, a lot of emotional things happening. Um, some of you may have been dealing with like grieving. If you lost somebody recently, I am so sorry for your loss. Or um, just overall dealing with some life stressors, trying to you know get the bills paid or stay healthy or something like that. You know, I'm picking up intuitively on some sort of stressor that has been putting you in a mood where you just don't feel like creating. You just don't feel like, you know, indulging in sensuality and the romance of life. I feel like that sort of spark, that sacral chakra energy is wanting to reemerge within you. I would recommend if, if I were a Libra this week, I would do a sacral chakra meditation. I would literally go onto YouTube, type in sacral chakra meditation music, put, put on some headphones and just you know, do my thing, get, in, get into an intuitive flow. Um, if you're a creative of any sort, I would also say this is a week where you might want to consider going back to your craft if you've been taking a break from it. And also understand that creativity and sensual connection can be such a powerful healing tool for us. You know, it could be a place where we express these feelings, you know, like if you're sad, if you're grieving, um, just allow yourself to sit down with some sort of creation or have a sensual experience where you can really just let these emotions pour out of you without judging them, without critiquing them, without um, trying to create a certain end goal or something. Just see what happens, see what creative things come out of you while you're allowing yourself to be in that energy. And I feel like that can actually lead to very powerful, beautiful experiences felt with your sacral chakra, which is basically like your animalistic intuition of like, this feels right. This feels right, so I'm just gonna do it, you know, not thinking it. It is essentially your gut's intelligence. Your brain is not the only organ controlling the show here. You know, your gut, your heart, liver, all of it. There, there's so many different, like, bacterias that are a whole ecosystem of intelligence and memory cells and things like that. And so many of your organs, your brain is not the only one in control. So, yeah, get back into that gut feeling of just, like, doing what feels right. Mm. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is coming out. Yeah, this is, like, man, this energy of, like... Should I just give up at this point? I've been trying so hard, working so hard. I'm not seeing the results that I want. Also, pay attention if there's any loans that you've been dishing out or um, doing a lot of favors for people that have not been returned. There could be some frustration around that this week. So you may want to have some conversations with people um, asking for those favors back or asking to be paid back or something of that nature. Um, stand up for yourself when it comes to what you deserve, what you should be receiving for sure. Then we have the queen of pentacles in reverse, which kind of just confirms that feeling for me of like, listen, I'm not trying to be a stickler here. However, like I, I'm at a weak spot right now. Like I, I'm the one that needs support and I'm waiting for the support that I dished out to y'all, whoever y'all might be, to, to be returned to me. And like standing up for yourself in that way, who cares if people view you as selfish or stingy or whatever. It's like, no, I'm at a point where I now need to be supported. And where are you at? You know, where are you at? It, it's hard to allow yourself to get into your sacral chakra, your creative, sensual energies of just feeling so good when there's like resentment, when there's like waiting 
for other people to do their part. Like for example, if you're in a sexual scenario and the person you're with is just totally selfish, only caring about themselves, not doing anything for you, not doing what feels right for you and vice versa, you know, it then becomes like, okay, well, I have rights. <laughs> I I deserve nice things too. So I'm I'm taking back my my body and enjoying it with either myself or the people who will appreciate it properly. You know what I mean? It's you're just paying attention to things like that this week. And um, yeah, despite all of that, like I said, there's a lot of love in the air, a lot of success um, unfolding for you for sure. Okay different options on the table. Thank you for joining me, Libra. Definitely watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this week ahead. Like this video, comment how it resonated down below, and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there, so check it out. Bye-bye.